Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on area as double integrals part 2. In the part 1 video, we have seen the basics on area. We have explored the formula and simple problems how to find the area of circle and ellipse. In this session also, we are going to see some interesting problems. Find the area between two parabolas y square equal to 4ax and x square equal to 4ay. And we know that y square equal to 4ax is the parabola open at right and x square equal to 4ay is the parabola open at the top. So now we are going to find the area between these two parabolas. So it is known to you in school days, these two parabolas intersect at the point 0, 0 and 4a, 4a. If it is well known to you, you can write the formula point of intersection directly. If you don't know, then we have to take these two equations and we have to simplify and get the points. So, step 1, I am just going to solve and get the points, but I already revealed that these two parabolas are going to intersect or pass us through the same point 0, 0 and 4a, 4a. Now, let us take this two equations, take y as x square by 4a. Now, substitute this in this equation, I can convert everything in terms of x. So, we will be getting x square by 4a whole square is equal to 4ax. Now, keep this 4a as it is. If it is 4a whole square or whole cube etc etc. No issues. Just keep as it is so that it is easy for us to simplify. Now, just I will take x power 4 is equal to 4a whole cube x. So, x power 4 minus 4a whole cube into x equal to 0. Taking x commonly out, we will be getting x cube minus 4a whole cube is equal to 0. And very important, many students in this step, they will cancel this x. If you do this, you lose one point. You should be very cautious. Therefore, my points are x equal to 0 or x cube minus 4a whole cube equal to 0. From this, we get x equal to 0 is one point. x cube is equal to 4a whole cube is the other point x equal to 0 and x equal to 4a. So, from x I can easily find the corresponding y values. You can see the typed version of this problem. Now, take these two equations. We have x equal to 0. When you put x equal to 0, y equal to 0. Similarly, when you put x equal to 0 here, you will be getting y equal to 0. Next, if I put x equal to 4a, so y square is equal to 4a into 4a. So my minimum value is 0. It is going to be lies on the first quadrant. All are positive. So I am taking the positive value y equal to 4a. In the similar way, when you put x equal to 0, we are getting y equal to 0 here. And when you put x equal to 4a, 4a whole square is equal to 4a into y. 4a, 4a get cancelled. We will be getting y equal to 4a. Therefore, the points for the equation y square equal to 4a x is 0, 0 and 4a comma 4a. Similarly, points for x square equal to 4a y is also 0, 0, 4a comma 4a. That means these two curves intersect each other at the point 0, 0 and 4a comma 4a. Next, let us draw the diagram student. This is going to be x square equal to 4a y open at the top and the next one is y square is equal to 4a x open at the right. Next, we can see the closed region bounded between these two curves is this. So now, since it is area, we are going to choose a vertical strip or a horizontal strip according to the formula which you pick. If you pick dy dx, you have to make a vertical strip like this. Suppose, if you are not picking the vertical strip, you are picking the horizontal strip, then you have to use the formula double integral dx dy. So, I am choosing the vertical strip. Now, I want to write the limit. So, vertical strip bottom to top. So, y is equal to x square by 4a. This is my equation for the parabola open at the top. y equal to x square by 4a to y is equal to 2 into root a root x. The upper limit is y square equal to 4ax. So, we can find y from this and it lies in the first quadrant. So, all are positive. When you go for the constant limit x, the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 4a comma 4a. So, x equal to 0 to x equal to 4a. Done. Next, we are going to find the area. The formula for area is double integral over the region R dy d. You apply the upper and lower limit. 
will be getting like this. We know the formula for x power n dx. That is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. Using this formula, I can expand this. Root x is nothing but x power 1 by 2. When you integrate x power 1 by 2 dx, we will be getting x power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. Now substitute the upper and lower limit. Lower limit is completely 0. I will bring this 3 by 2 to the numerator. 2 by 3, 2 into square root of a. x power 3 by 2 is 4a power 3 by 2 minus 4a whole cube divided by 12a. I can write it as 3 into 4a for my convenience. Also, this 4a power 3 by 2 is nothing but x root x. Do you remember students? In our school days, we did x into root x is x power 3 by 2. So, now simplifying this 2 by 3 to a, replacing this will be getting 4a into square root of 4a minus 4a, 4a get cancelled, 4a whole square divided by 3. Now, simplifying this further, we will be getting 2 into 2, 4, root a, root a, a. 4a and then this root 4 again it will become 2 divided by 3 minus 16a square by 3. When you simplify this 32a square minus 16a square by 3 therefore my final answer is i is equal to 16a square divided by 3. Next, we are going to see one more interesting problem. Find the area between the lines y equal to x square to x plus y equal to 2. As usual, we have to solve. No other go. Substitute this y equal to x square in the second equation. We will be getting x square plus x is equal to 2. Therefore, x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. Use your calculator or simplification. By any method, you can find the solution for this. The answer is going to be minus 2 comma 1. So, we will be writing x plus 2 into x minus 1 is equal to 0. So now, I found the points. Next, I want to find where the line and the parabola cut each other. Let us take this equation. Now, now put x equal to minus 2 and 1 in the given problem. When I put x equal to minus 2, I will be getting y equal to 4. When I put x equal to 1, I will be getting y equal to 1. Therefore, the parabola passes through the point minus 2 comma 4 and 1 comma 1. Similarly, when you come here, when I put x equal to 1, I will be getting y equal to 1. When I put x equal to minus 2, I will be getting y equal to 4. Therefore, this straight line also passes through the point minus 2 comma 4 and 1 comma 1. Next step 3, we have to draw the diagram. This x plus y equal to 2 can be easily visualized students. Put x equal to 0, you will be getting 0 comma 2. Put y equal to 0, we will be getting 2 comma 0. Then we can draw a straight line between this two points. Next, when you draw the parabola, the parabola touches the origin 0 comma 0. Now you can see which region I want to find. This is the closed region I am going to find for my problem. We found the region. Next we have to find which strip I have to choose. Either a vertical strip or a horizontal strip. Accordingly I can fix my area formula. That is double integral over R. If you choose vertical strip, we will write dy dx. If you choose the horizontal strip, then we can write dx dy. Suppose this is very important student. Here we learn change of order of integration. Now we have to know how to visualize this problem. Suppose I am choosing the horizontal strip. So it moves from left to right. So everywhere in the left I should get parabola. Right I should get the straight line. If I am moving like this, see after this line y equal to 1, my strip is going to touch the same parabola in both the limits. See here, it start from parabola, it ended parabola. So that means it has two different regions. So now this is trouble for me. If I choose the horizontal strip, I am getting two different regions. Have a close look on it. So from here to here, I have one region. After the line y equal to 1, I am getting the same parabola. I have to write some minus 2 plus. So this is the trouble for me. So what I have to do? I want to go for the vertical 
strip. If I choose a vertical strip, it moves from bottom to top. That is from the parabola y equal to x square to x plus y equal to 2. So wherever I draw the strip, I am getting the same. So it is better to choose the vertical strip. And one more thing students, in exams, you should not draw all the strips. Okay, What I am doing all is for your visualization. Just draw this final diagram. So now I choose the vertical strip because it consists of only one region. If I choose the horizontal strip, I will be getting two regions. So I don't want it. Next, since the strip is vertical, y is going to be my variable. So y is equal to x square. It starts from here and moves up to the line x plus y equal to 2. So y equal to x square 2, y equal to 2 minus x. Next, x is going to be constant. So see the region. The region covered by the straight line and the parabola is this. So the minimum value of x in this region is minus 2 and the maximum value is 1. You should not think this because my region is completed starting from here and it is ending here. So my minimum value is minus 2 and the max value is 1. Now the limits is ready. Next we have to do integration. Our area formula is double integral over the region R dy dx. Done. Substitute the limits. Now integrating this, we will be getting integral minus 2 to 1 y. Upper limit is 2 minus x. Lower limit is x square dx. Substituting the limits, we will be getting 2 minus x minus x square. Integrating this, we will be getting 2x minus x square by 2 minus x cube by 3. Substituting the upper and lower limit, we can get the solution guys. So 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3. When you substitute the lower limit, minus 4, minus 2 square is 4, so minus 4 by 2, minus 2 cube is 8, minus into minus plus 8 by 3. So, club the data as 2 minus into minus plus 4, 2 to get cancelled, minus into minus plus 2, minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 3, minus into plus, it is going to be minus 8 by 3. So, 8 minus 1 by 2, if I take this minus outside, 1 plus 8 by 3, so 8 minus 1 by 2 minus 9 by 3 is going to be 3. Therefore, 8 minus 3 is 5 minus 1 by 2. 2, it is going to be 10 minus 1 by 2, that is 9 by 2. So either you can simplify like this or you can use the calculator and you get the decimal like 4.5. I said the trick, press the shift button and then press A, B by C. Then it will give the display 9 by 2. You can write directly. So option is left to you. So we get the solution. Therefore, my area bounded by y equal to x square and x plus y equal to 2 is 9 by 2. Hope you understand students. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more and keep up the great work. Subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.